Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. How much longer, Venus? Almost through, Steve. Is it necessary to do this every day? I feel fine. You know what the regulations say, Steve. You have to have a medical checkup every day during your tour of space duty. Okay. You're the doctor. Ouch! A-okay, Steve. All reactions normal. Thanks for nothing. Say, that reminds me, Robert's about due for a checkup. I must have a word with Professor Matic. <laughs> No need to blow your top, Robert. I have a checkup, you have a checkup. Say, Steve, I picked up a lone satellite ahead on the space McGrath. It's very strange. Let's see if I can spot it. Well, I'll leave you two to your stargazing. I must make out my report. Can't see a thing, Matt. Could it be a space probe? Well, Savender is the nearest planet, and we've had no news of any activity from there. Wait, yeah, I have it. It looks like some type of spaceship. Why, it's a... It's a fuel tanker from Earth. I'll try to contact it by Neutroni transmitter. Fireball XL5, come in, EFZ4. No reply. Let's take a closer look. This could mean trouble. Venus? Prepare thruster packs. We're close enough to cross to the tanker now. Roger, Steve. Okay, Robert. She's all yours. Keep her on free float. 7150 blue. Roger, free float. 7150 blue. Well, you're gone. I'll report to Space City. Hey, okay, Venus. All set, Matt? Let's go. Don't forget your oxygen pills, Steve. Okay, Venus. About to enter ejection room. Good luck. And be careful, Steve. Roger, Matt. Ready to eject. <laughs>
Baker entrance located, Matt. Opening now. We are entering the tanker now, Venus. Roger, Steve. And please, be careful. The ship's lighting system isn't operating. Turn on your flashlight, Matt. Roger, Steve. shape, Steve, but I think he lives. He's in a deep state of hypnosis. Yeah, but how could it have happened? Where's the rest of the tanker's crew? I diagnose he's been in this hypnotic coma for several days. Well, we'll get the tanker back to Earth. Maybe they'll come up with some answers. How's the patient, Venus? Well, he's still in a deep trance, Steve. How's Robert making out? Just fine. You'd think he'd been flying tankers all his life. Fireball XL5, entering Earth's atmosphere, Commander Zero. Roger, Lieutenant 90. All systems go. Colonel Zodiac, report to control on touchdown, please. Landing procedure 473. 10 minus 0. Stand by, everyone. Systems are at go. story, Commander Zero. Uh, yep, Steve. It all figures. You know, this is the fourth tanker we found abandoned in the past few weeks. They were all on the same route, delivering fuel to Grand Venia. But we haven't come up with any answers yet. Well, I've got news for you, gentlemen. The tanker pilot isn't going to come up with any answers either. He's still in a state of deep hypnosis. But Venus, uh, can't you, um... Can't you give him a shot to bring him out of it? I don't, Professor. The shock would kill him. We'll just have to wait. Things sure are against us. But I've got another idea. Tanker EF Z5 Spaceborne. All systems go. We'll rendezvous Fireball XL5. our plan works. If we escort the tanker along the same route as the others, we could learn something. It could be very dangerous too, Steve. We don't know what's out there. We'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Uh, we'll be approaching a location where we found Tanker 4 very shortly. Hey, uh, I'm getting an unidentifiable radio beam impulse on the radmoscope, Steve. This could be it, Matt. Try to get a reading. Steve, there's something out there. That light, it uh, feels strange. It's uh, almost 
hypnotic, uh, peaceful, soft, restful. Steve, this is it. This is the cause of the tanker pilot's hypnotic trance. You are all feeling tired. Very sleepy. There is no escape. You will soon be at peace. Where's that voice coming from? It's all around us. Matt! The... The voice is... Uh, it's coming through all the... Uh, the electronic uh, instruments. Let me see. My reading show that the sphere is unmanned. There's no sign of life aboard. Oh, it's uh, it's making me feel very tired, Steve. It is pleasant not to have to think. Relax. You are drifting. Gently. It is so easy to obey. Forget your care. Steve, we... We're being hypnotized. I... I can't fight it. Nothing can. Wait. There must be something. I must try to think. Zodiac, snap out of it. Change course. It is far easier to obey than Fly 5170 ready. Relax. You are in my power. Change course 517. What am I doing? Robert, you, you've got to help. Change course 517. Zero red. The tanker, it's changing course. Keep on course. Keep on course. Roger, keep on course. Relax. Come to me. It is peaceful. Change to course 5170, red, Robert. Roger, changing to course 5170, red. No, Robert. Keep to present course. Keep present course. You must obey. Change to 5170, red. Five one seven zero red. Five one seven zero red. No, no, Robert, keep present course. Change to course five one seven zero. Red. Keep present course. Keep present course. the 
steered us clear. Where's that heat coming from? That's the planet Marana. And we're headed straight for it. Okay, Robert, I'll take over. I've got to pull her out, and fast. Made it. Oh, that sure was a close call. The voice. It's gone. We're out of the influence. You bet we are, Venus. Guess we only had a mild dose of that hypnotic treatment, or we'd be in a coma like that tanker pilot. Come on, Professor Matic. You're out of the trance now. Wake up. Are you okay, Matt? Oh, it, it's all right, Steve. I'll be thinking straight in a minute or two. Oh, I feel such a two passing out like that. Yeah, I feel kind of tooty, too. Will you come in here, Matt? Gee, it's a pity you can't give us any information, Robert. But he can, Steve. Have you forgotten? Robert records everything at all times. Of course. We can play it back, then discover the route that voice tried to make us follow. Robert, replay from 1,500 hours. <laughs> Change course. It is far easier to obey than resist. Fly 5170 rate. Relax. Okay, Robert, that's enough. Course 5170 red. But why doesn't the voice affect us when we hear it again? The soft alternation of the light would induce the hypnosis, Steve. The voice just gives the command. You mean the light alone could hypnotize us? Or at least put us to sleep? That's right, Steve. If we are to go back there, we must destroy that sphere. But if we destroy the sphere, we'll reveal our suspicions. Let's follow it back to its base. Have you unloaded the cargo into my storage tank, Earthling pilot? It is done. I must obey. Good. You will fly the tanker into space and stay there. I do not want your useless machines cluttering my planet. Ah. All the fuel I need will come from the next tanker to come under my influence. Then I can send my hypnotic spheres to every planet. I shall be master of the universe. All ports and windows are blacked out, Matt. Guess that should stop that light from the sphere. Yeah, all we have to do is uh, cut out electronic systems and the hypnotic voice won't be able to get through to us. Guess you'll have to fly blind, Steve. Yeah, Venus. I'll have to sense the attitude of the ship. <laughs> it's what they call flying by the sheet of your pants. But uh, don't worry, Steve. I'll work out the necessary calculations to keep Fireball on course. So it appears that the Earthling Escort spaceship did not crash into Miran. They shall not escape me a second time. I will launch the sphere again. But the hypnotic signal will be much stronger. Relax. Drift. You are in my power. Relax. It is so Sure is a good thing we don't have to rely on electronics to propel the ship, Matt. Uh, I calculate we should be in the area of sphere, Steve. You'd better start following the instructions from Robert's recording.
Prepare to land, Steve. I calculate we are in Savannah's atmosphere. Hey, Steve. More spheres. There must be 30 of them. Looks like a regular invasion fleet. Stand by for action. Going into land. We'll, uh, we'll hear that voice as soon as we step out. Let's, uh, let's play along. Yes, Steve. Then we can find out where it comes from. Okay, let's play it cool. Right. Wait for it. You are under my power, Earthling Patrolman. Come towards the door. Play along with him. Ah, welcome to my domain. You are in time to see me conquer the universe. Thanks to the fuel from the Earth tankers, I shall be able to hypnotize the universe. I've heard enough, Matt. This thing must be destroyed. You cannot win, Earthman. I am superior. I am all brain, you see? What can we do, Matt? Venus, he's got us cold. Cold? That's it, Steve. The temperature in this place would drop in no time if the heating system was damaged. You are right, Earthly. I am delicate, and the cold would kill me. But you cannot fight me. Relax. You will soon be at ease. Steve, fire your gun at heat system. I, I'm, I'm so tired. You cannot lift your arm. Zodiac, you are feeling tired. I must do it. Tia, I'm sleepy. I must destroy the heat. Put down your gun, Earthman. Relax. Sleep. Do not fight against me. Relax. It is easier to obey. I must fight this drowsiness. I must destroy heat. I've done it. I've done it. The hypnosis. We're out of the hypnosis. He died with its master, thanks to you, Steve. And that means the tanker pilot will be okay, too. We, uh, we'd better leave at once, before we all freeze. How are the tanker crewmen we found on Savetta? They're out of the hypnosis, Steve. They'll be fine in an hour or two. Well, that's great. Well, I guess that calls for a celebration. What do you say, Joe? Yep, we sure have something to celebrate. Thanks to you, Steve Zodiac. <laughs> together, conquers of the sky, my heart would be a fireball, a fireball, every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter, and maybe very soon, we'd cruise along the Milky Way, and land upon the moon. To a wonderland of stardust, we'll zoom our way to Mars. My heart would.
would be a fireball. 